From the Intellifluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellifluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Ursula Mikowska is a fashion blogger, actress, and social media influencer who was born and raised in the heart of New York City. As an actress, she is best known for her role on MTV's show Catfish. Ursula is currently working as a merchandiser for Full Beauty Brands and is working on her blogging career. Her fashion blog, Ursulala, launched in 2012 and she has since partnered with high-profile brands such as Aveda, Christian Dior, Cartier, and Estee Lauder to name a few. You can also find Ursula on Instagram where she features her favorite fashion, accessories, and cosmetics in addition to lifestyle posts featuring New York City as the backdrop. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's get started. So, you're a successful fashion blogger, stylist, and actress. Can you tell us a little bit about your background, including how and when you became an influencer? Yeah, so I started, well, I first became an influencer when I first started blogging, which was six years ago. Well, actually, now it's going to be seven years ago. So, it was in the beginning when I first started college and I studied fashion, and I was like, hey, I want to see what it's like to transition throughout the years, right? And I just started like sharing my outfits and everything. And then all of a sudden, just like one day, like it just came that boom, I got a partnership with Nylon Magazine, like one of my first partnerships. And then that's where it kind of just started growing. So like really working with them, that's how I became an influencer on Instagram. We're really growing from there. And then eventually I ended up on a reality TV show. So that really helped me get, become an influencer with my story. People became really inspired and really loved my style from there. Yeah. Very nice. That was, that was Catfish, right? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Looked at, that's awesome. We were, we were going to make a joke about to catch a predator and decided probably not appropriate to do. But, but, but speaking of jokes though, we did see in a publication that you were going to be doing a comedy channel on YouTube. So yeah. I was hoping maybe you could tell us a joke perhaps with the punchline about YouTube's monetization for creators. Oh man, that's gonna be a hard one. I can't, I can't. I can't. Uh, put you on the spot. I wish I could, you're putting me on the spot. I wish I could, but I don't have anything right now. You can send it to us after the weekend. <laughs> no, no, but like, tell us about the channel though. Like, what, what, what's the concept behind the comedy channel you wanna do? So what I wanna do is, so, you know, as being an influencer, like there's things that there's habits we have, there's things we do. And you know, we I've noticed it amongst myself and amongst other influencers as well and bloggers. So my idea is to like it's okay for me to do it, to make fun of influencers. That's what I want to do. Okay. There's nothing out there yet where like influencers are really making fun of themselves. Like the stuff we do, the stuff we say, you know, like for example, like we honestly always talk about like fashion week just ended, right? We always talk about like what campaigns we're doing and like, oh yeah, this this is how much I'm getting paid. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, definitely. Like, you know, like stuff like that. So like really making fun of ourselves or like getting that perfect shot, you know, like from above, like what we have to go through. Like I actually stand on a chair to get that perfect shot and people don't know like what we actually struggle to, to, you know, get those perfect photos and everything and I just want to make fun of it. It's kind of funny. It's reality, but it's funny. That's actually really innovative. Yeah, the self-deprecation. That's, yeah. that's, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. As an influencer, what type of content do you find uh, most resonates with your audience? To mine, they definitely love outfits. They don't, my audience doesn't really like, they don't really like product shots. They like it when I'm in the shot. Like especially since I you know I am the influencer so they like want me to they want to see that I'm actually using the product like being real with them they want me to like actually be honest with them so that's what they really like they like the honesty the creativity and making sure it fits their aesthetic and I, I'm actually using it selling it because at the end of the day we're influencing them right so the way we do it is by actually being honest with them and actually wearing the products and using the products and showing them how to do it and that we're being like completely honest with them and to encourage them to use it too. Mm -hmm. through, through like the course of all these partnerships you've probably had, do you have a favorite one that really jumps out at you that you're really glad you did? Oh my god, yes, all the time. Aveda. I've been working with Aveda for a year and a half now. They're the 
best company I've like I have a really good relationship with them and I love everyone on the team I've been going there for a year and a half and I really do believe in them and I support them 100% and I literally will not go get my hair done anywhere else like I'm really committed to Aveda like I will not I will not I refuse to I like love them so much that's loyalty yeah I'm loyal to them and they're loyal to me like I love them and I I don't lie about getting my hair done there they're like they do a really good job that's great that's awesome so the flip side of that question that I always like to ask because we've had a vast array of answers all over the map on this so what is the strangest influencer request you've ever received because undoubtedly there's going to be the odd request where they haven't really done their research and they're pitching you something that's completely off the wall I'll tell you right now, I keep getting emails about a Zen garden and I don't know what a Zen garden even is. So um, I don't think that really fits my audience. If I don't even know what it is, then obviously I'm not interested. And I think that's like the most randomest thing ever. So I, I don't even know what that is. Like, how do you promote what the Zen garden? Like, what is that even? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. John, do you know? It, it, it's sand and rocks and you sculpt it. So like, maybe like, do you, do you have advice then? Uh, for aspiring bloggers, aspiring fashion influencers, perhaps like go into the Zen garden niche or something? Or? <laughs> I have no clue, but you know what? I, I'm not interested in the Zen garden, unfortunately. <laughs> the weirdest thing ever. See, we're getting into that. We were trying to get you to promote them. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't us. I hope it wasn't us. It was not us. No. <laughs> yeah, but do you have, do you have uh, advice though for new influencers or like a what struggles did you overcome that you didn't really foresee that you know they can eliminate as roadblocks well definitely like one of my biggest struggles was definitely time management because i have a full-time job and you know like i'm also a blogger and influencer and finding like being able to juggle and find the right you know i want to do this and do that because you have to pay bills at the end of the day you know so like really t time management was my hardest issues but like i Still followed my dreams and I still was able to you know get to where I am today so keep pushing yourself work hard post content keep shooting and just keep engaging like that's the most important thing especially since Instagram keeps changing its algorithm and makes it more difficult for us definitely keep engaging to really grow and keep posting like that's I think I think that's actually everyone's struggle now is Instagram changing its algorithm the whole entire time and like the way you know it ma they make it more difficult for us for our audience to actually see our posts now so like yeah definitely like in engage I would definitely say like start engaging and definitely posting and being creative and be yourself be all, you know be yourself be original and yeah just do what you love to do yeah that's not, that's great advice and so on that note, where do you see influencer marketing headed in the next five or 10 years or so? So how, how do you think brands will be interacting with someone like you? Um, they're definitely, now I'm not gonna lie, definitely influencers are the way now to sell products and definitely that's not gonna go, that's not gonna go away. We're the ones, you know, in power now because yeah, they have celebrities, but they wanna see real people. People wanna see real people like actually using the products. Like, so even just like now in, for example, fashion week just ended, we saw more diversity on the runway. Like we saw more plus size women. We saw kids walking down the runway. So definitely like we're headed in the right direction that it's, People want to see real people, so they're going to want to see us, but also like even not maybe like influencers, but people with like a larger following, you know, like 5,000 followers, 10,000 followers, like real people. That's what I think their brands are going to head to and definitely online sell, you know, selling online, selling digital marketing. Well, awesome, because that's exactly what we built, so I'm happy to hear it. Yes, yes, the, I did have a question though, in terms of like the, your process, you talked about, you know, having to stand on a chair to get the perfect shot. How long does it take you, like for each post that you have, how long does it take you to get your post, to get it just the way you want and everything? Sometimes, so even to get that perfect post, like honestly, I'll take 200 photos and it could take me even up to two hours to just get that right photo and then not even counting editing because editing takes forever. Like you have, you know, you have to choose the right app, like um, you have to edit it and like choose the right lighting, contrasting, et cetera, et cetera. So, and filters. So it takes, yeah, it takes me sometimes like even the whole day to like get that right post. Want to join IntelliFluence as an influencer for free? It's easy. Visit IntelliFluence.com, click on the influencers link, and then click on the join for free button to sign up. 
Once you have registered, you will get immediate access to our influencer marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and well, you know the drill. Until our next episode, keep being awesome.